Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our live. I'm going live with Rahima, the amazing book writing coach. So if you've been thinking about writing a book, you need to go and send Rahima orders a message because she's going to help you get your book from an idea to first draft and now she's helping people to publish on kindle okay so i'm just gonna wait for rahima to come and send me a request so that we can talk about her book her upcoming book in december okay so rahima send me a request Walaikum salam guys thank you so much for joining Walaikum salam queen grateful heart Okay, let me see if I can send Rahima a request. Walaikum well, salam, reinvent yourself, girl. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's go live with Rahima. Just waiting for Rahima to come on. Salam, Walaikum. Walaikum salam. How are you, my love? I'm Alhamdulillah, I'm great. Alhamdulillah. So let's get straight into it, girl. So I want you to tell my audience what you do, who you work with, and why you have a passion for it. Okay, hello, assalamu alaikum, everyone. Thank you very much, Rosaline, my amazing coach, <laughs> to have me on your life. Yeah, it's an honor, <laughs> like, honor. it's a big honor. <laughs> so, like, my name is Rohim Odshate, and um, I coach Muslim coaches. I give them a guide to write their life-changing book so that they can be authority in their niche and impact millions. Yes. Because, like, that's what we, we are meant to do with our gift, right? Allah gave us this gift, so we're meant to use it to impact many lives. So that's what I do in a nutshell. And why did I go on this path? It's not a straightforward thing. It wasn't a straightforward thing. I, like, I just found my, not really found myself, but like I was directed to it because as young as I can remember, I started reading from an early age, as early as six years old. So I know that when you read a lot, the outcome will be to write your own book. So that was what happened. Mm. And eventually like, Ooh, I love that. so that's a good strategy. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Guys, did you hear what Rahima said? If you read a lot, the outcome is to write your own book. Allahu Akbar. That is so deep. Yeah. I never thought of it that way. So, okay, come on. So tell me what, why, why do you choose fiction over nonfiction? Why is fiction more powerful? Okay, like um, fiction. For me, I enjoy reading fiction a lot. So because, as I said, what I read about, what you love reading about, that's what eventually ideas that will come. So that's how I got the idea to write my fiction book. Mm, okay, well. Although I love reading non-fiction books too, but it has to do with business, um, 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 business, self-help, inspiration, all those. Like, so. I love it. So girl, tell us more about this book, this upcoming. I'm so excited to read it, Rahima. I'm waiting, okay. <laughs> Okay, the book has been, in short, like, I started it 2016. It has a whole lot of stories behind it. <laughs> like, I had to rewrite it. That's one major part of the stories. And I shared the story in my auto, my Facebook auto page. You want to read the full story. So I'll just make it short. Like, it's a book about um, Amina. She's a protagonist. And... Um, there's this face, what she wants. You know, we want things in life. I would feel like, I want this. And I need to get it. So she has everything. She has the brain. She has the beauty and everything. And she's got what she wants. However, in her quest to get more, like she found her, her, herself sucked in the life, in the happening and everything. And she felt she was on top of the world. She has nothing, like nobody. She, everything was um, like, um, of her own accord, like, is my work. Like, I did it. I worked for it, and I did it. Like, she was just attributing everything to herself. So what hit her, she wasn't expecting it. So, you know, life happens, catastrophic things happen. 
because mm. I'm not going to go into the meat. <laughs> like, yeah, so the journey she took from um, from no, having that catastrophe hit her and the knowledge that she has that, okay, she hasn't got everything as she thought she had. There are some things, steps she needs to take to get to that. Mm-hmm. So the journey, I journey through the face of life. So that's what the story, the book is about. Oh, so it's like a kind of redemption, redemption story. Yeah. Oh. Kind of redemption story. I'm excited to read this book now because I feel like so many of us need that, um, that guidance that sometimes when a catastrophe happens, we don't know what to do. Like our mindsets will be like so focused on the catastrophe that we can't think of any possible outcome other than more chaos, right? So I feel like this book yeah. is so phenomenal for so many people, especially entrepreneurs, I think. I feel like entrepreneurs will like love this book. Yes, yes. God, I will, definitely. So yeah. when did your book out, girl? Yeah. I did what? Wait, when is your book, when, when is your book releasing? Okay, yes, it's releasing in um, tw- 31st of December, Ooh, 2020. Like so that's like just over a little, yeah, over a month. So I'm excited. So <laughs> like how, finally. How, yeah, I'm going how, to like. <laughs> how is the book being released? Is it um, a hardback or Amazon? How are you doing it? Okay, yeah. What, the way I'm going at the beginning, like getting it printed and then, then putting it on Amazon. So for Amazon, it's going to be for those that are abroad so that they can get it easily. Then for those here, they can get out of it, the printed from, from um, where I'm going to put it, like the physical copy, they can get it. I've not created a platform yet, but we are working on that. Woo! So they're going to get the printed copy. So as well as Amazon, by God's Ooh, grace. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, guys. Like, if you know, I love Rahima so much. Like Rahima is badass. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, sis. Girl, like, like, girl, you are so amazing. Your energy is amazing. And I know so many people get massive, get massive breakthroughs while they work with you. I know so many women get, like, especially coaches, because this is a thing where, where it comes with you, right, guys? Just to let you know, Rahima, she works with expert coaches. She works with Muslim coaches and helps them write their book. Now, give me, give me an idea of what it's like to work with you, Rahima. How do people go from the idea stage to the first draft and then publish it. Okay. Yes, what happened is I sit down. When the, um, the prospect of clients is ready to write their book, they have to be ready anyhow because there are some people out there that they feel, oh, they are ready. Yeah. But <clears throat> they're always looking at the big picture, right? Yeah. And they let that get them bogged out. Yes. So what I tell my clients is that don't focus. Just focus on a step at a time. Yeah. Like, don't look at the whole picture <laughs> for now just take a step at a time so it start with the idea we look at the idea we're going to look at it the reason why are you writing this book mm. is it for commercial purposes but there are different reasons people write book they write it for um posterity sake they write it for um to be um known like an authority and they write it for profit so majorly whichever way you want we're going to determine that if it's for commercial, because majorly people, majorly people write book to earn money from it, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the major thing. So what I do is that we look at the um, title and see how we can work it out. Is it like we're going to coin it and make sure that the title is very attractive and it's what people need. And first of all, for your audience, you have to know what your audience wants because there's no need writing book just for writing sake. So we look at that too. Like, what are your audience asking for? Mm. What are the things they want you to write about? Mm. So we get to carry them along with that. So that you have already made audience. It's not that after writing the book, you start looking for audience. That wouldn't be practical. Well, it isn't practical at all. So like, that's how we go then. You look at the idea, you do your mind mapping, brainstorming and mind mapping of the chapter, you do the outline. The essence of the outline is to guide you on your journey, book writing journey, so that you not be on and off track. You just focus on what you're supposed to write on. From there, you go to the editing. From editing, that's professional editing. Before that, you do yourself edit. After um, completing the first draft, you do yourself edit. Then you jump into the professional editing. Then proofreading, copy editing, proofreading, and before it's published. So that's the short 
I oh, like a short person. I love it. Writing. I love Rahima. Yeah. When you mentioned that you you have the audience already because I think so many people. Yeah. If I write a book and I want to monetize on it, who do I who do I send it to? How am I going to make the money? How am I going to like? How is this going to be a profitable idea, right? So the fact that you get your audience yeah. already intact and you think, okay, what do they need? Let me not just write a book for the sake of it. Let me write a book with my, my with my readers in mind. I think that's so important. I think that I think that's the reason why so many books flop, right? Because so many people are not understanding the readers. They're not understanding what their audience needs. So, guys, if you're a coach, yeah. please like send me yeah. a message. And I see one of your clients are here. Oh, girl. No one. <laughs> yeah, my people are there. Team Cut Edge, Cutting Edge. Thank you for joining me. Oh, like that's a nice. <laughs> and guys, please yeah. do chime in. Like, ask Rahima any questions. If you have any questions about writing your first book, if you're a coach and you, you know, you maybe you have an idea for a book, but you don't know where to start, please feel free to chat. Chime in the chat box. Let us know your takeaways. Ask any questions because Rahima is here for you. Okay. And another thing, she yes, yes. She has a book. Uh, her book is going to be released on the 31st of December. So please go and follow yeah. Rahima and make sure that, you know, you, you send her a DM and ask her for the book, okay? Because <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Yes, and I have, like, I have a taster, like, two chapters. So you can just dig, dig into it and feel it. Know how it feels before you buy. So you know, okay, am I going to buy this or not? So you get a free two, two, copy, uh, two chapters to read free, mm -hmm. yes. I love it. I love it, mashallah. So yeah, when it comes yeah. to when it comes to your passion, Rahima, was this always your passion to help people write books? <sighs> like, yeah, it, like I say, it's a journey. Okay, let me just say like a bit. Yeah, that wasn't um, my passion initially. However, I had that inkling when I was in junior secondary school. I started writing a, um, an adventure book with my friend one of my best friends back then. Ooh. Because then we used to read lots of Famous Five, Hardy Boys, um, Nancy Drew, you know, like, as I mentioned, that whatever you take in, when you read a lot, you want to write your own too. So that was what happened. So we, we wrote that book, but we didn't publish it right. So life took over. I went to study civil engineering. Okay. <laughs> After that, I went on to accounting, like, I was directionless somehow. But eventually, it's not hit me like, girl, like, you have this talent here and you're not making use of it. Like, so I had to like, dump those professional courses, <laughs> the professional yeah. course. Like, yeah. girl, I'm going to go this way. Like, this is what I'm going to do. And have the life since then. I'm enjoying it. Amazing. It comes oh easy God. and it gives me joy. That's yes. Guys, I want you to just really like listen to what Rahima said. She said when she was in school, when she was young, they wrote a book <laughs> by the famous five. But then, you know how education came in the way. She was like, okay, let me go and be an engineer. Let me go and be an accountant. So she forgot her passion for <laughs> writing and reading books. And she went down that lane of going down to get her degree, which is amazing, which is great. Okay. But then she came back to the reading and the writing. She was like, you know what? This is my passion. I love it. And guys, I want, I want you to make note of this, that it's totally possible for you to make a profit from your passion. It's totally possible to make a career out of your passion. Rahima likes reading books. Rahima likes writing books. And now she's made it her career. This is her job now. She helps other people bring their ideas to life by helping them write it on paper. I find that so phenomenal, Rahima. I find that amazing. Yeah. And I know so many Thank people you. write books. So guys, if you want to write books, like send, send Rahima a message. Like, mashallah, she's... I know you, Rima. Rima, I know you got a book waiting, like, a, like a, just a book inside of you. You're a coach. I know 100% you do have a book waiting to just be, you know, ignited to yeah. the world. So Rahima, can people meet you? I know you have a... You're going to have your book released soon. Are you going to go have a book tour? Yeah. How's it going to go? Okay, yes. What I'm planning to do is um, I'll release it online. So then I'm planning a book signing, a book signing um, event. That's how I want to, to start. So that will be in January, by God's grace. So like January. So uh, that's what I'm planning for now. So majorly, the major things, the um, release and everything is going to be online. A binding is going to be physical which I'm planning towards January 2021. Inshallah. 
course. The people can be because you're in Nigeria right now. So you're gonna come to the UK. Yes. You better come, girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it might. It's, it's possible. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yes, it's possible. Amazing. That is impossible. <laughs> and, and Rima said that. Yeah. Look, Rima said when Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala gifts you with something like that, that's what you need to give back yeah. to the world. Yes. And Bra Secure says, Subhanallah, so true. I was always created. Yes. Guys, listen, all of us, we have an idea inside of us. We all have a passion inside of us. Let Rahima's story remind you that you can so reignite that passion and build a career from it. Like seriously, you can. This don't ever let don't let anyone tell you that your ideas are silly. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you need a degree or you need something like you need a PhD to go and build a career. You don't, guys, because entrepreneurship is the way forward, I feel. I feel anyway. Not for everyone, but for people who are creative within themselves. And I know so many of you are, especially for you coaches. If you want to impact and, and have more authority, writing a book is a way forward. And I see that, think about it. Look at Tony Robbins, right? Look at Steve Chandler, all these Oprah Winfrey. They all, all have books. So why why do you think Rahima is important to write a book? Why is it important? Okay, like a book is important, but like for coaches, mm. you can take on as many one on one or group coaching as you can, but you cannot extend yourself more than that. So what your book will do for you is to market it worldwide. Just one book, packaging all your knowledge. Right. And like putting it on Amazon, we get to a lot of people, even to places you don't, you can't even dream of going to physically, right? So your book will like open up um, ways for you to get known, to be an authority. Like you get invited for speaking, speaking engagement. You can get shown on TV and on radio stations. So the whole wide world out there, when you have your book, and you can also convert them into courses. You can do workbook. You know, it's as it's so like wide, is wide. Just why? Just have your book, and um, it'd be amazing. Mm, oh my god! Like you can repurpose. Just like what Hima said, you can repurpose your book into so many things. You can have one book turn it into a course. Then you can use it. You can use it um, to do public speaking. So that's the theme of your of your speech. You can you know, create impact worldwide millions. Can you imagine guys impacting millions of people? Yeah. I don't think, I think so many of us live in this bubble that we can only impact the <laughs> community. I don't think we think about worldwide, like www. Yeah. Wide web. Mm. Don't think of it in that way, right? Yeah. What helped you yeah. release the fear around uh, writing your book and having it out there? What helped you release that fear? Okay. Like, I know, like, especially new, new people, like new writers or new coaches, they feel that they'll be judged. Definitely, they feel they'll be judged. And there's doubt. Okay, will people buy what I want to write? And so I've gone through all those emotions, roller coasters of emotion. But one thing that I know is that, likewise, if you don't put in, like, your gift, if you don't share it, then it's not going to impact anybody. It's not going to do anything. You're going to come with it and die with it. Like, literally, I'm not dramatic. Like, if you don't share your... There's a book I read, Die Empty. Like, if you don't share your awesomeness to the world, who else do you share with? Oh, wow. I need to take it back to the grave, like... SubhanAllah. So, and again, when we look at Muslims, and we are given this gift, Bala, we are given it, especially by Allah, so that we can use it to impact people. And we are going to be hacks about it. On the object, okay, what did you use this gift I gave you? What did you use it for? Subhanallah. While you just like, were you just, mm, just thinking like, mm. so you need to use it. So without fear and everything, you just need to go ahead and do it anyway. There'll be fear, there'll be judgment, there'll be everything. Even while you're still not popular and everything, people still judge you. You get, they still judge you. There will, there will be doubt. I'll just like kick the fear and like do it anyway <laughs> i always yeah. say like just do it i love it kick rocks guys oh my god i love that rahima that just literally gave me goosebumps you know when you said about the grave like you're gonna die with your awesomeness don't you think the world needs it oh my god yeah. like i don't think I, I never have heard anything in that way before it just really literally hit me so deep mashallah just like i'm sharing that rahima so what's any Thank final you. words that you have for the audience any final words you have for anyone 
Okay, like, um, I know that there, there are these thoughts that you're not good enough, you can't write your book, it's too hard, it's going to be difficult. Let me tell you, it's very easy. So it's a mindset. So just decide that you're going to share your awesomeness. Just feel that you know that this is a gift I want to share and make it like it's something, part of me, that I'm going to share and live in the world for people to benefit from. And one beautiful thing about Islam is that when you write your book, it can benefit people even when you're gone. When you're gone from this hurt, it's called Sadako Jaria, like continuous charity. So think about it that way. Mm -hmm. Like write it and like have it like continuous charity even when you're gone from oh. this. So like think about Girl, write it. You like see, that's what I've got. Making you tear up. Allahu Akbar. Oh, subhanAllah. Yeah. So guys, you heard it from the coach herself. <laughs> Rahima is amazing. Please send Rahima a DM if you want help to get your book from your head onto paper and publish. Rahima is the girl for you. And also she has a book out on yeah. the 1st of December. What's the title of your book, Rahima? The title is Taking for Granted. Ooh, love it. Take her for granted, guys. Please make sure you put in your pre-orders. For Rahima, let her know. Yeah. Send her a DM, inshallah, and I will tag her. It's oldest. Let me just type your name in the comments so you can go and follow yeah. Rahima. So it's oldest. Oldest. Yeah, there it is. So, guys, there it is. Let me pin the comment. Go and follow Rahima. Send her a DM. Let her know what your insights were from this. I got so many gems. My insights, the biggest one is share your awesomeness mm -hmm. with the world. SubhanAllah. It can be your Sada Kajaria. Mm -hmm. I think so many of us get stuck on the fact that Sada Kajaria has to involve money, but it can definitely involve your words. Oh. It can a massive impact. Yeah. Like look at the look yeah. at the books that we read nowadays and it's from people of old and it still impacts us. It's so cool. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. Thank you, Rahima, for coming on. I certainly <laughs> enjoyed this conversation. Yeah. And I know we're going to have many more. Thank you. When you release your book, we're yeah. coming back on to have a party, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have a party. Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. Jazakallah, Khair, Rahima. Take care. Salam. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I can start. Thank you, Rosaline, for having me. No bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.